So today I'm in the local school and we're going to be doing a little Halloween festival for the children and I will show you around. So the children will come in today and they will take their shoes off as is standard in Japan and then they will sign the punctuality list or the register I guess. From there each of the children will be given a pumpkin so that they can carve. Some of them will carve but the younger children will have to use sticky tape to try and make faces on them. Fai and another staff member will greet the children and try and have the children say trick or treat and then we'll give them one of these baked goods and they smell really good. One of them's non-gluten and then the other one's a normal one and then there's another little treat there as well mentioned the uh, children would end up using one of these tables to carve the pumpkins but then there's also going to be another little mat for the smaller children to cut sticky tape and put it onto the pumpkin so they can make faces on it like black sticky tape which would be nice eventually the children will be able to have their photos taken next to this uh, this background saying happy halloween which is nice it pretty much consists of uh, balloons and and a bit of a banner there and something that's really cool is uh, they've actually made some piñatas for them so they look like zombie head piñatas they're pretty cute and they're pretty much filled. I've had a look inside them and they're pretty much filled to the brim with sweets and treats, Japanese style. The children will have the opportunity to have a crack at making their own costumes. The event lasted a pleasant two and a half hours and we had around 60 children in attendance, some accompanied by their parents. It was my first time being surrounded by so many kids in a work-related setting. Although my role included greeting them in English, giving a short English speech and assisting throughout, what truly stood out was the valuable experience I gained. The children had a great time carving pumpkins and decorating them with colourful stickers. It was amusing to see that most of them initially went straight for the balloons rather than the activities we had prepared. The kids were given gloves to protect their hands while working on the pumpkins, and one child accidentally injured himself. I was quite surprised because he had been very shy when I first saw him, however, when one of the Japanese teachers helped him with his injury, he handled it with remarkable composure, not shedding a tear. In fact, he even showed me his bandage, which was quite a sight for me, as I'm not particularly fond of blood. Nevertheless, he soldered on, teaching me not to judge based on first impressions. Despite the event being on a smaller scale compared to what I've seen in the UK and Australia or on TV, the children's appreciation and enjoyment were equally significant. Watching the kids smash the piñatas was a hilarious sight. There was one very young child who wanted a turn, but some older children were in front of him, which made him cry. We decided to let him have a quick swing at the zombie piñata while he was in his mother's arms, which immediately cheered him up. I'm likely to assist with future events as the joy and happiness amongst the children was truly heartwarming. Once the children have finished with the piñatas, then uh, we, all the staff members will line up and say goodbye to them and thank you for coming. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I wasn't able to show the children for obvious reasons, but uh, just a quick update on this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.